My name is Brian Houck and I'm the owner of the GameWorks, local Klamath Falls, Oregon. I started out with my parents' laundromat, which was in this building. And we started out by buying three video games from a garage sale back in 1982-ish. And uh, it just went from there. We had a row of them in the laundromat that earned money in the laundromat. And then later on, I started tinkering with them and, and just always liked them anyway. And then I had a friend that bought a bar and we were like, hey, these are cool. Let's put some of these in here. Before you know it, I started making money and doing it for a living. <laughs> Our family originally, we probably ended up with about 10 or 12 of them and about nine of them were broken. And I was in my early 20s at that point and it was just uh, kind of a weekend hobby thing for me, you know. So yeah, I started kind of tinkering around learning about power supplies. You know, there's still something about the real arcade controls, the real deal versus cell phone or home system you know and, and uh, that's where the draw for me is it's my preference we're just trying to get all these old games back up to snuff is job one there's a lot of machines that have problems that have been sitting in storage and time and electronics doesn't work well they uh like i said before there's a lot of gremlins that come out and uh you know monitor repairs power supply replacements get the controls back up to snuff, and uh, then, you know, cosmetic restoration also. Once we get everything up and running, then we can start refining the collection more. And, you know, it's kind of like being involved in it as much as I have, you know, there's some rare games that I'm involved in that the general public probably won't really remember or even, you know, and those may not really earn as well in the public forum again. So I, I try to focus on the more noticeable titles, you know, Pac-Mans, et cetera, that the general public's gonna resonate with. So there's gonna be a little give and take with some of that going on as this gets developed here. It's open for everyone, and what we're doing is real quarters. We do it just like it was back in the day. Real quarters come from the change machine and go on the machines, so it's that what I consider the true tactile experience. It's not tickets and, and swipe cards and all the new stuff. It's the real deal, the way it was meant to be done, you know? So that's, that's how it's gonna stay for here. Um, we are gonna do some different things when it comes to the private party packages and some stuff like that. But uh, for general rule, it's gonna be open play, real course. So what we're doing right now is our, our soft opening period for what I figure first quarter of this year. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. is what we have, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The, the goal is to eventually get back to five days a week, probably Wednesday through Sunday. But for right now, while we're working on stuff and I need extra time to track stuff down and make things happen, uh, we're just doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll be in here working. For other businesses that are out there that would like to have equipment like this in their locations, I put equipment in other businesses too, so if you're a pizza operator and you have a spot you'd like to have some games in or a Quickie Mart store or anybody for that matter, if you'd like a claw machine in a restaurant, uh, you know, we put, put this equipment in other people's existing businesses too and uh, do revenue shares, so uh, feel free to come in and talk to me about it and we can see what we can do for your business too. I, I really enjoy the part where younger kids are seeing some of these games for the first time whereas you know when we were all kids growing up we saw them all we knew about them but there's a whole new generation that's they saw a pac-man on their cell phone maybe or something but they've never saw the real machine you know and and so there's this new generational shift thing going on that i see like you know, like I've done a lot of birthday parties and, and there's a lot of older guys like us that have played them and they now they've got young families and they're showing their young families what's going on, you know. And so it's, yeah, it's, it, I call it generational shift kind of, it's just kind of what seems to be occurring with it.
it, it, it's going to be a good thing for the community too. You know, it, for years I've always heard there's not enough for kids to do here. You know, and uh, hopefully we'll be a, a positive venue for that for families and kids to come.